Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Some of y'all, peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the message. Let me go ahead and tell you all right quick about uh, the problem with the soft guy era movement. There is a problem, but it's only one, and it's not what many people think. The issue with the soft guy era movement is that it's a joke, it's a satire, it's a spoof. It's a way to hold the mirror up to D's O's and show them how ridiculous they are. That mirror needs to be up there because these Westernishas, Wyatt and sisters alike, are ridiculous in terms of what they not only want and prefer, that's ridiculous enough, even if they say it's nature and they can't help it. But they're ridiculous even more so in their insistence and their decisions. What I'm telling you is that what they prefer is not even legitimate. Their preference is not legitimate. Ours is. We want women that can look the part, and we're very forgiving of that, and we're very individualized about that, and who can also behave the part and do it when they're young. To me, the young part doesn't even matter. It just goes to show how easy it is for women. For men, well, it's difficult because the women are not willing to be even the legitimate preference of men. If they look the part at all, they're going to act a mother cuss word fool. You already know this. And they're going to do it into old age. Now, if they are not able to find men that actually prefer them at their ripened age, then they will stop playing the games. But if they find guys like me, they will still play the games. So their whole bend is to be difficult for us and nothing else. They literally have no other goal that is consistent. They stay with that goal on and on and on and on. They stay with that goal and they do not quit. They prioritize, even good women prioritize being hard on you and, and being difficult for you over uh, anything else. And to a certain extent, it's like that even here in this, in, in where I live in this environment. They tie the concept of family honor to how expensive and difficult it was to marry a particular woman. The whole family ties their concept of honor to that. Well, their, their daughter and their sister takes a dowry that is this much man shuck that fit they don't know that in actuality the man is supposed to make the offer and she either just says thank you or no thank you and what that means is that it's not about it being expensive it really wasn't supposed to be the problem with the soft guy era is that we are perfectly justified in doing and saying every mother cuss word thing you have heard these men say. And we're saying it as a joke. We're playing it as a joke to show them how ridiculous they are. No, if we have those standards, it's not ridiculous. Not because any marriage is supposed to be all give on one side, all take on the other hundred uh, zero but it's specifically because none of them are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be a hundred on one side, zero on the other. If you factor in finances as one factor among many factors, then it's supposed to balance out. And since they're saying the financial is going to be a hundred zero, then we should be sitting up and saying, well, then that means that you're going to give a hundred percent for everything else, all of it. And since you have stated that you don't need us to protect and to provide because you're strong and independent, then you don't get to ask for that. So now that's 50 50. <coughs> that's what we got going. We're going to make this thing 50 50 because you insisted. And what that means now is uh, you are not going to go 50 50 on these bills, B word. You are now going to go 50-50 um, on housework unless you decide to do more. You're going to go 50-50 on this protection as well. Somebody breaks in the house, okay, you know what, I'll confront them directly. You sneak up on them from behind. We both going to have blood on our hands at the end of this.
And that's the end of it. Because you said so. We're not even making approaches because you don't like that either. You like the rejection, but you don't actually seem to like even being approached. So no, we're not even doing that. You don't know how to act. You start calling cops. Start calling HR. You don't like when men lie and dingling and don't even give a name to the woman and soil a woman's reputation. Just, yeah, man, I got some. Who? Man, I ain't going to tell you that. Even if a man does that, women will be the first ones to shame that dude. A man can sit up and say, I'm not going to ruin her reputation. I'm not going to say who she is. Ruin her reputation. I want to go back and hit it again. And the women would, the dudes will say, okay, you know what? You might be right about that. Women are the ones that jump up and say, because you ain't got nobody, because they always got to diminutize. So when you look at the war at which they are against us, we have every right, every single right to say these things and to mean it. No equivocation, no laughter, no joking. No, be worried. And to make it worse for the hyenas that brought about this situation in this environment, Understand that when I say we need some double standards, one of the double standards we need that we, we absolutely need now at this point is that we give the soft guy era vibes to the Western niches. They go through that and provide that for us if that's what they want. If they want one of us, we don't make these same demands of traditional women and other regions. Western women, because you don't know which ones are really traditional, which ones aren't anyway, don't offer that to them. Let them find a man to represent them that can actually vouch for them really, actually, truly being traditional and not playing the role. Let them do it. And then, at that point, we can turn around and we can say, all right, well, you're traditional, so we'll go ahead and treat you like a traditional lady give you the benefit of the doubt. You might actually be what you say. So just in case, all right, fine. And then turn around, see a traditional woman from a village in Brazil, not even Rio, or Salvador de Bahia for that, that matter. No, 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 a traditional village where they wash your clothes by hand and they would love for you to drive them a washer even without a dryer, just a washer. And they would thank you for it. Yeah, that place. Okay, now. You get with a woman like that and you don't make those same demands. You all offers. You know what? You'll approach her. You'll ask even so much as what is the right way to approach her in her culture. You protect and provide, but for her. Not for Western Asia. And I know this is a very cold thing to say and a cold thing to do, but it must be this way because these, these are the double standards we've been getting based on dumb things like jawlines and resemblances to other guys that these women may have liked that didn't like them back. Dumb stuff like this. Other things you don't control, like height. But then they turn around and balk because you put a scale in front of them. We need double standards like this. Traditional women might have some of the same insecurities. Don't ask me how much I weigh. All right, fine. We're not going to dwell on that. You know what, though? West Tunisia? No. You from, wait, you from Germany? How much you weigh? You from Scandinavia? Oh, definitely. How much do you weigh? And what's your age? Dress size. All that. And you know what? That's when they approach you. Like I said, we don't make approaches. We don't offer them anything but 50-50 because they strong, independent, don't need no man and they don't listen. We need more double standards too and I'm going to talk about them. This is the culture war. It's a genetic war. It's a rep reproductive war. All these types of war because, they're again, they're out to take all and give nothing. And not only that, 
but they're leading. And the reason I get upset about this, talking about it, and I raise my voice is because of the hopelessness that this creates for many of you. Morpheus of the base Pluto. As strange as his outgoing, uh, his parting greeting is, I understand what he's dealing with. I understand what he's coming from. He said it. It's too late now. He doesn't even want to be with anyone anymore because he's gotten too used to being alone because he's had to be too used to it. Not because he couldn't get chicks, but because he couldn't get equality. He couldn't get a trade off. It wasn't allowed. The hell does that tell you? Consider maybe monogeny, maybe. And that's more convenient for you. Consider monogeny with a traditional woman is not from the West. Western woman, no, you're going to have to share. Yeah, you got to approach me. You share 50-50 uh, uh, in provision and protection with me, and you got to share. And no, you can't be gone with another dude because that's just unnatural. You weren't fighting for that anyway. You weren't fighting to, you know, spread the draws around. Otherwise, there'd be more dudes getting active. Since you weren't fighting for that, that's not what you wanted anyway. So anyway, with that being said, I hope that this helps out. Let's go ahead and start making this serious and make them know, no, no, this is for you, West Tunisia, if you want a shot. This is not for uh, Griselda from some traditional part of the world. No, this is not from Astera in, in, in Ethiopia. No, this is not for Ayan in Somalia. This ain't even for Habiba in West Africa or in the Middle East. This is not for them unless they're from the big cities and they own that stuff. This is for you, Siam Tanda and Tolo from South Africa. This is from you, Monica, from Mozambique or Angola. No, I'm sorry, not Mozambique, but, but Angola or the cities of Cabo Verde. No, you've got to come 50-50 and still share. You don't get to use being in the kitchen as an excuse to not go into the military. No, you don't get to hide when an intruder breaks in the house. You can sneak up behind them, I'll engage them directly, but you don't get to hide. No, we got kids, you protect them too. Mrs. Equality, come on. You got to make the approach to get me in the first mother cuss word place and you can't keep plausible deniability in your back pocket either. Don't even try to keep it out. No, you approach me. And if I didn't want you, I just declined and that's it. Doesn't make you a bad person, but you're going to deal with this rejection under no confusing terms because you fought for this. And since there's no right way to approach you anyway, and you don't know how to appreciate men who do. And guess what? You don't get approached. Look your best. All that. We'll look if you're looking nice. We ain't going to say a mother cuss word thing. We don't make approaches. Not to you. Because gentlemen, this is the only way that you do not undervalue yourselves. The truth was spoken in jest. Make that truth a reality. Thank you for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. Assalamu alaikum, black heterosexual, non-select male power because they don't like it. Black patriarch until extinction of judgment day. Thank you for flying again with us here on Jet Black Airways with Jet Black is also a verb. Keep Jet and Black with us till the wings and the wheels fall off. Gender justice forever. <laughs>